Alright, uh, today we're going to tie a uh, fly found on the last video, uh, the Winter Giant. And uh, some of you have asked about it, asked about how to tie it. It's a really super simple fly. I couldn't get simpler in terms of a streamer. And I um, just want to show you how to tie this one and maybe give it a name. I don't know that it's a pattern. I just kind of came up with it's only three ingredients, basically. Um, I love simple flies, uh, especially streamers. I'm kind of getting into those lately. If anybody knows the name of this one, or if it's somebody else's, or, you know, if if someone's come up with these three ingredients before, I'm sure it's possible. Um, but uh, anyway, we'll just call it the FN uh, Stripper with a Z. So uh, let's just show you how to tie it. Hopefully uh, you have fun with this one. I uh, start with the Daichi hook. This is a size 6. These are super sharp, and... Um, you know, normally I use Tamco, but uh, we do Daichi for this. Wapsi has a really great tungsten cone head. This is a nickel, in size large, and um, I like that because it, you know, you get a lot of depth very quickly on this. It's also it seems to be easier to control in the current. So first, we'll just slide that cone head on the hook, put it in my little clamp vise here, and uh, I like that white uh, in the background just so you can see the fly takes me a while to get that thing adjusted but we'll do a few uh, wraps is just some tan thread um, to try to secure the bead down I like to use uh, some dubbing just a ball of dubbing behind the bead to sort of lock it down otherwise I'm wasting a whole bunch of thread uh, you know a whole bunch of wraps but I just want to throw it doesn't really matter what color it's going to be hidden anyway so we'll throw uh, some dubbing behind that bead. A few wraps here. And then just uh, lock it down with, with some more wraps. And then just run the thread. We'll just run the thread back on the hook shank to the bend. Make sure that bead's tight first. And just kind of run this back all the way to the bend here. All right. All right, we're going to use uh, some rabbit. These are zonked rabbit strips. Cut into real thin, thin strips. I'm going to cut this end off, make a little point. You notice this is kind of a barred, it's a dyed rabbit strip. It's just a white, but then it's got these stripes dyed into it. I'm going to cut this, make sure it goes to a nice point. Uh, it's important in the direction of the rabbit fur, make sure it kind of flows backward. We're going to take, um, we're going to take about the last three quarters of an inch pull back the hair right there. We're going to take the last three quarters of an inch, tie it right at the hook bend. Now it's important that we don't get it too long off the back or else you get uh, fish that'll sort of nip at it and you won't get into the hook itself. So don't make it too long, especially since that rabbit fur um, goes, you know, goes past the skin, you know, some, you know, a good inch. We'll make a couple of nice strong um, wraps here being careful not to um, tie down the fur you want to be in between strands or in between the fur and then we'll uh, pull well we'll actually cut cut that strip up to the about the hook eye trim that off all right looking good so far now we're gonna make a couple of wraps here Kind of secure that down, and then um, we're going to take some crystal chenille, a little bit of um, flashy stuff for the body. Trim that off, and then we'll just tie that into the hook shank, and then just simply we're just going to take a few wraps, wrap that forward to the bead, and then take your chenille, wrap it forward up the hook shank. That's about as simple a streamer as, as I've done. So, and then we'll just secure it down here. Do a couple of ties, a couple of wraps to secure that off, trim it. And now we're ready to um, select some hen hackle for the collar. So I've got this, um, this hen neck and we're going to pull three feathers out of it. These are kind of medium-sized feathers. I like the 
the fluffy, um, the white at the base of these is basically what we're going to be using. But the first thing we're going to do, though, is we're going to trim off the, the thick part of the quill. So I put them all together, match them up together, and then, and then we'll just trim the thick part of the quill out of it. Um, just enough to get that webby hackle, um, maybe, you know, three or four wraps. You know, kind of trim these off so we can tie them in. Okay, now we'll just tie, tie them in. I like to just kind of stick them underneath the, the bead there and lock them in with thread. A few wraps to secure those down. And then we'll just make a couple of turns with those three feathers. Makes a nice fluffy collar. A couple of turns there. And then, I mean, this is going to imitate really fins on a fish. And when it gets wet in the water, it moves and, and has a real natural appearance. We'll lock these down with a couple of turns. Trim off the excess on those three feathers at the top. And now it's time to just secure the top of that zonker strip down. Um, notice on my right hand I'm pulling that tight. With my left hand I'm, I'm tying that down. I want to get some tension on that strip so that it doesn't get loose through the, through the middle. We don't want it to get loose at all through this center section here. Um, and then we'll do a couple of real tight turns. It'll start pulling the skin part down uh, behind the bead. And we'll trim off uh, the excess right here. We'll trim that off real close. I'll get that little piece of fur off. There we go. And then uh, we're just going to take some more locking turns, really kind of jamming that down into the base of that bead. We want to make sure that bead's nice and locked, nice and tight. Take some extra turns here to make that happen. Remember, we've got that dubbing in there to secure it too. So. And we just whip finish this. I'll take uh, four turns on the whip finish. Four, and there's four. And then we'll do three turns. One, two, and three. And trim that close, and now we're finished. Um, most often, I didn't do it in the video here, but most often I'll take some head cement and, and kind of do a little extra security with some head cement. Also, uh, you can tie a collar in here. Um, you can do like a red collar. I like that. To, it kind of imitates gills and things. But here we are. Here's the finished, we'll call it the uh, FN Stripper. And, um, you know, like I said, unless anyone else has seen this or if we've got another fly out there that, you know, I'm, I'm copying um, accidentally, let me know because, uh, you know, we don't want to discredit anyone else's work. But uh, anyway, that's it. It's a real effective little streamer, and I uh, hope you have a great time tying it. Tight lines.